Hey guys, it's Techie Tish here and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how I got my first job as a junior DevOps engineer. I work for medium to large size company in the UK and I've been working there for about two months now and it's been absolutely uh, brilliant. It's been, it's been really good. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe. So the first thing I'm going to say that I'd say the biggest thing and is this not really something you or myself could have controlled? I'd say definitely the first thing is look. Um, I feel like I had a lot of luck when it came to getting this job. Um, when I say look, I mean the opportunity presented itself um, at a time where I was sort of like looking but also not looking so um, basically what happened was the recruiter for the company that I worked for uh, reached out to me uh, via email and it, you know it was it was a detailed email it wasn't some sort of cheesy lines like um, you know that a lot of recruiters tend to use, I find, and it was it was a email that captivated me, but also intrigued me into learning more about the role. I went something along the lines of, "Hey Tish, the company that I'm recruiting for is looking for a team of DevOps engineer, and they're going through a digital transformation, and there's a junior position that I think you'd be suitable for." So. After that, I, I, I replied and I said, thank you for reaching out to me. And I said, I'll definitely be interested in learning more if you could um, contact me and I'd love to learn more about the opportunity. And it just went from there. So we then had a, we scheduled a telephone call and I will just treat this like an interview, but not in the sense that you, you're probably, that you're going to be talking with um, the actual company. So this was a telephone call with the recruiter to go through the information that, um, to go through the job um, in more detail and then learn more about the company and who the company is and, you know, maybe learn about the technologies that they're using and um, that kind of stuff. And then um, after he like, was interested in like why I was interested and what skills I could bring to that to that team and to that company he then put, put my application forward to the hiring manager and then it went from there okay number two uh, we're going to talk about CV and if CV has to sell you so in this specific case I had no, I had not even touched DevOps in an organization prior to me even getting the job. So the way how I laid out my CV was I had a little intro at the beginning after the usual details. I then went and put the first sort of relevant work experience as my um, bootcamp projects that I was doing. Um, so the UW courses that I was doing, that, that was the top. And then underneath that, I put where I previously worked, um, and and then I think the one before, and then the one before that was probably my previous employment. I can't remember. Um, and then the rest was just the usual, so education, interests, um, and that's pretty much my CV. I'm gonna say number three is show interest. So. Even though your CV has some information and it has, you know, it has things sort of glued up and presented in a professional way so that, you know, you come across as, you know, a professional person um, applying for a job. You also want to make sure that throughout the process you are showing extreme interest in the job role and that it's not just a job to pay the bills and and you know make sure that you do have interest and i'd say definitely working um in the job role you have to it's like 
it's not even 99.9% it's a hundred percent more you need to have interest especially in DevOps for the processes you follow and the, the tools that you use you need to have interest and if you don't have interest you'll find yourself bored and you probably won't even make it through the first year in my opinion and for me DevOps every day is different I'm working on different things um learning every single day and even though I've been hired as a junior because I've never worked as a DevOps engineer before and because I didn't really have any experience other than the stuff that I was self-teaching myself and even then when you get there things are different or you learn that there's a process or a way that um, the team would want to do things other than what an instructor might have taught you um, at, on a course so just bear that in mind have an open mind and show interest so right from that first you know email you send or whatever if it's a LinkedIn message whatever it is right from that first message or communication make sure you show interest because if you show interest that means you're willing to learn you're you know you're you're willing to um be open-minded and you're willing to adapt to how the organization may do things how the company may do things even if you could showcase that you have the knowledge if you don't showcase that you have interest how is the per how is the person hiring you supposed to know that you're excited about the role they're not don't lie whatever you do don't lie like i think when so but prior to this prior to this recruiter reaching out to me i'd had messages on linkedin from recruiters um and hiring managers asking for me to apply to devops engineer jobs um because my 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 linkedin profile uh, was catered around basically all it was showing was other than my work experience it was showing what I was currently doing um, and the tools and technologies that I was learning through the courses on Udemy and even though I listed oh I'm doing X Y Z Z Z when you're in the interview and you are in you know you speak to the recruiter and make sure you don't lie make sure you make it clear to them what your actual knowledge is so i had had messages from other recruiters asking me to apply for job roles which quite like five years experience or you know all this because they thought based off my linkedin profile i had like all of i had like in-depth detailed knowledge I didn't ever list that I had in-depth knowledge I just said these are the tools that I'm, I'm um, learning in the Udemy courses so I'd say definitely don't lie and when you get into how this like really definitely played I'd say played a massive part of me getting the job role was so when the recruiter reached out to me he I said to him we, we spoke on the phone and I said to him, I've, I've literally never had a job in DevOps, but it's something that I wanted to, to get into and pursue as a career for um, a long time. And he basically took that information at face value. If I had said, oh yeah, um, you know, like I've been doing DevOps and I've been doing this new Debbie course for like two, three years. And he then passes that information on to hire a manager they're going to expect that i have two three years knowledge so you got to you know make sure that you're wording your experience in the correct way and in a way that you're not going to be caught out in a sense because if i'd lied i'd have got caught out and i can tell you that from uh, I could tell you that straight or I would have been caught out because when it comes to interview whether it's the first stage interview or the second stage interview you will get asked questions based on your experience based on different things based on 
things you would have mentioned to the recruiter or things you would have mentioned if there is no recruiting you mentioned it to just like HR team they're going to be noting all these things down so they can pass it on to the hiring manager and the hiring manager comes to interview and you are you don't have anything to say because you know I'm not sure well but you've been boasting on about it before you've you've given the impression that you know something if you do know something great if you don't know something either don't mention it or if it's asked in an interview um just say you're not sure and the person will give you the right answer will give you guidance on maybe to what the answer is might make another video and uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to make another video about like the interview process and um and you know what to expect and all those kind of things if you guys have any questions or you want to reach out to me just leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video thank you and see you soon